hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to start creating our uh, custom cell so let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to create a new file here and uh, this file is going to be uh, ui collection view cell of type ui collection view cell and we're going to call this one custom cell All right, uh, and once it is uh, created, uh, basically uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to create two um, different uh, outlets. Uh, there's one for um, item uh, and uh, there's one for select label. Although we don't have any select label right here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a label that's going to show a checkbox uh, or uh, an empty uh, circle uh, depending upon if user has selected uh, that particular cell for deletion okay so um, uh, this also shows you like how multi-selection works uh, so not necessarily for uh, deletion but you can use it uh, just a regular multi-selection so um, uh, so yeah so that's what that's what we're gonna do so let's create uh, an IB outlet week war UI label. So we're going to need another label. For select uh, select image, select label. We're just going to call this. And the select label is basically the one that is going to show the selection. Item label is this, um, this label that contains the uh, emoji. Um, okay, so that's that's good. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to override awake from nib, super dot awake from nib. So if there is anything that um, super class is setting up for this particular uh, function, uh, for this particular cell, uh, it, it would get the opportunity to do it. So that's why I call super dot awake from nib. And once it is done, uh, we're going to call self dot uh, select label dot layer. We're going to make it circular, so uh, dot corner radius is equal to 15. So we're going to make that uh, that label circular. So instead of using a whole bunch of images, it's actually uh, faster to render a label. And if label can actually get our work done, then we're going to use that. Uh, but instead of label, you could have using, uh, you could have used like, you know, the uh, image as well so image would work as well so you just uh, put the image uh, size it up and uh, load the correct image but i felt like you know uh, label is a little bit more complex you get to learn a little bit more uh, because you know how to uh, how to make a make the border circular like how to mask it to bounce uh, define a border color and stuff like that so that's why it's a little bit more complicated so that's why i chose uh, showing label uh, instead of showing it as a image okay so self dot select label dot layer dot masks to bounce is equal to true that means uh anything that's flowing over uh the corner when you cut out that that circle uh so let's say if you have like you know a uh a square and you're trying to fit a circle inside that you'd have those four corners uh, that are still visible now uh, it's not going to be it's not going to look like a circle if you have those four corners appearing so mask to bounce basically says that uh, mask anything uh, beyond that bound so basically just show the circular area and discard all the corners so that's why we are saying mask to bound true We're going to give it a border color. A border width. A background color. 
background color to the label. Okay, so UI color dot black dot with alpha alpha component zero point five. So it's gonna be semi transparent. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our main storyboard and what we want to do here is um, we want to select the cell we're going to go to its uh, identity inspector and give it custom cell as the uh, class name and then we're going to go to its uh, uh, I forgot connection inspector uh, connection inspector and give this item label assign this label as item label and we don't have like you know any select label so uh, let's go ahead and create that so if I if I press command shift L or hit this button right here uh, you're gonna open the library and I'm gonna open a label I'm gonna search for a label and I'm gonna drop it right here somewhere make sure that it is inside the cell so uh, let's go ahead and uh, pin it eight points from uh, from the trailing at the bottom and give it a width of 30 and 30 reason I'm putting 30 because if you remember uh, the corner radius we gave was 15 now in order to show a circle instead of a square, uh, you create a corner radius of uh, with the half of width and height of a square, basically. So half of width or height of a square. So uh, let's say if your square is 50, then your corner uh, radius is going to be 25. That way the arc, uh, the way the arc is drawn, from one point to the other it takes a half a like a quarter circle uh, space or a quarter circle uh, form uh, to that curvature and that is why you actually have to divide it uh, by two whichever like you can take width or height for square both of them are same so you just take the width or height and divide it by two and whatever value you get that's your corner radius right so let's go ahead and add that and uh, I want to actually remove everything anything that's shown in there and um, let's go back to our view controller now and uh, remember where we were actually selecting this uh, uh, where we were making uh, a selection based on tag value so wherever we were getting that uh, tag we are actually trying to populate uh, that tag now instead uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are simply going to say here when you dequeue you dequeue it as custom cell and you really don't need this what you can say is um, cell dot item label dot text is equal to data index path dot item there you go and uh, let's go ahead and run this uh, if we have done everything that we need to do then we should have a circle showing up in the cell and there is a shoe okay we've got to connect our select label that's why I was showing the issue uh, unexpectedly found nil uh, reason is unexpectedly found nil because it's finding a nil no connection here it's setting those values but there's nothing connected to it so let's go ahead and connect this guy to something so select cell go to identity inspector and drag and drop your connection to your select label and now go ahead and run it again There you go. So uh, that is uh, looking good. I think it's a bit uh, close to the image that I want it to be. Um, 
more than that so what we can do is we can set it to maybe four and uh, let's take a look if that actually okay so that actually looks better for sure now uh, we don't want to show this uh, like you know like this uh, we want to show this uh, selection label only when uh, our collection view is in the edit mode so in the next video we're gonna prepare our uh, our collection views edit mode uh, property so we can actually toggle it uh, to be in the edit mode or not uh, and then from there we're gonna uh, make it uh, multi-selectable and uh, then add the delete functionality into that. All right, so stay tuned for that and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.